had uh, kids that were in high school. That some of them had That's little right. kids. So you only have to intend to send your kids to the That's school. That's right. But the issues of standing and things like that, if someone's interested in being involved in an action like this, um, I can put them in touch with the folks that are organizing. So you can always uh, email me at evolution at case.edu, and I can put you in touch with uh, the folks that are doing it. I don't know all these issues of standing, but I know folks who do. So. I've got a final comment here, I believe. Let me take advantage of your experience with Kitzmiller in Dover and draw a couple of parallels with Ohio. Uh, the tactics in Dover were initially Buckingham and Bonzel arguing for some sort of 50-50 creationism evolution, and then that transformed into finally what uh, yielded a uh, the one minute disclaimer read by administrators to school children. In Ohio, the initiation was a 2000 motion before the State Board of Education for a two-model approach, right. a motion made by Professor Deborah Owens Fink of the University of Akron, a member of the board. It failed 9-5. That then morphed, and in the course of your discussion with Myers and Wells, the compromise devised by Bruce Chapman, president of the Discovery Institute, and Meyer, the associate director of the what is it, the Center for the Renewal of Science and Culture? At that yeah, they, they, they decided the word renewal was embarrassing. It's now the Center for Science and Culture. Yes, I know. I haven't changed yet. <laughs> good, good for you. And that ultimately resulted in the standard, calling for critical analysis, and then, as Mr. Latimer has been kind enough to tell us at a, a 2003 Intelligent Design Conference, a packing of the writing committee and the consequent lesson plan that is derived from Wells' icons of evolution, Behe's Darwin's Black Box, Pandas and People, and in fact, our librarian has traced it back to the 1960s creationist literature. Given that fact situation, what would be your view of the likelihood of finding another Judge Jones in the federal courts in Ohio? I know very well when I'm asked a question that is beyond my expertise. <laughs> and that is exactly such a question. But I will tell you, um, since I've made exactly two appearances in federal court, with judges who were drawn for cases by lot, that at the district level, I have to tell you that I'm impressed with the intelligence and the integrity and the dedication to the constitutional mission of the federal judiciary. And I would hope very much that uh, that impression would be reinforced if any case on this issue ever got into the federal courts in Ohio. And I pray that that would be true. Thanks. Thank Change. Yes, go right, go right ahead. Um, and it's keynote and... Turandursun.com Dinlerden Özgürlüğün Sesi